Hey guys, welcome all of you to Baiju's exam prep. So I hope you must be by this time aware about the notification a few days back floated by IIC Bangalore for GATE 2024. Yes, those students who have already registered for GATE 2024, okay, they can now choose a new two paper combination from the window 11 to the 17 November. So that means there are two more still days left for you. Okay, so this video is not like an update. You must be updated about this fact. It's all about key, you know, in, in case you are confused, is it really the new two paper combinations that have come up? Is it really beneficial for you? Should you opt for it? Should you think for it? And once again, I repeat, it is only for those aspirants who have already registered for the gate examination. There are no new more applications to be received, right? So, you know, th th there's a special table to as you are to the following new two paper combination. See the table to below. Okay, so as per every pri primary branch, a secondary paper has been added, has been modified. So the complete list as per the branches. So what I've done, I've segregated uh, this as per the important branches, you know, most of the students watching this video, maybe EC or double ECS or civil or instrumentation or etc. Okay, so uh, guys, I'll show you uh, that content separately. Okay, let me just switch to the PPT and yes. Okay, so as I just mentioned, it is during the window 11 to the 17th November. Okay, for the students who have already registered and what are, what are the updated new two paper combinations have looked into this so in case if you are from primary branch ec you can choose the secondary paper as bm that is biomedical if you are from double e it is bm as well as excel that is biomedical or life sciences for computer science they have allowed the secondary paper as exe that is engineering sciences now the good news is mostly for instrumentation and civil students because earlier the da the hot paper of this year data science and artificial intelligence was not uh, the IN plus DA uh, or the civil plus DA was not allowed. Okay, so now those uh, IN and C, uh, civil aspirants, those who wanted to appear for both, now they have the option to fill up their DA. Okay, so you can go and choose to modify your application, add a new paper DA, complete the formalities and you can register for DA as well. Okay, and for mechanical, there is no extra secondary paper added. It remains same as earlier. So earlier list also, we have talked about this a lot. Okay, and... Uh, for DA, if your primary paper was DA, then uh, now you can choose a secondary paper. Additionally, new two paper combination, you have uh, uh, aeronautics, you have biomedical, you have civil, you have IN. So in any case, I mean IN, sorry. So in any case, uh, IN is, uh, plus DA and civil plus DA is a combination for all of you. Nothing to be worried about. Correct. Okay. Now, the point is whether you should be opting for it or not. Okay, I've shown you the combination. So like suppose EC, the second paper, see IN plus DA and civil plus DA is totally your call. If you're interested for DA and artificial intelligence, uh, provided the time is also very less. They've opened this window in November and just two and a half months especially left for the examination. So be very, very careful. If you're highly interested, then definitely it's a good combination. You can go for data science if you're interested. And if you think your IN and civil paper syllabus is completed, so in the additional two, two and a half months time, you will manage revision plus the new preparation for DA. Then only go for it. Don't only look into your interest, but look into the practical feasibility also. But yeah, that combination is valid still. But now EC students, should they offer biomedical or double E biomedical and Excel? Computer science students, should they think about EXE? Okay, so before I answer that, okay, let me take you towards the syllabus of these branches. Okay, towards the syllabus, then only you can make a decision. So suppose biomedical. Okay, so what is the syllabus for biomedical? Okay, mathematics is of course common. So now look into this electrical circuit, that is network. So, so EC and EE students can choose BM. Uh, as a second paper, I want to show you the paper first, syllabus first. Signal and system. Okay, you study that. Analog and digital electronics, you study that as well. Measurement and control, control both EC and EE students. Measurement, uh, EE students anyway study. Okay, sensors also to a particular extent electrical student study. Okay, and bio instrumentation is going to be totally new. Human anatomy and physiology. Okay, medical imaging system, biomechanics, biomaterials. Totally new for you. Okay, so you have extra stuff and only two and a half months left. But above this extra stuff, guys, what is the real thing you should think about is, okay, only go and opt biomedical if you are really highly interested in this particular branch. Otherwise, let me tell you, with respect to AM Tech, with respect to PSUs, there's not going to be much scope. Even for placement point of view, it's not that much scope in our country right now. Only thing, if you are interested in research in this field, you know, some MS courses or PhD, then you can opt for it. Okay, otherwise, usually it is not a suggestible combination, right? Okay. Similarly, uh, Excel, the life sciences, you know, if, if uh, the electrical students want to choose. So in the life sciences also, there is the XLP paper code, chemistry, which is compulsory. You can't avoid that. And then any two papers out of the other. So, you, you know, it's, it's, 
something that you don't usually study during engineering like biochemistry is there botany is there okay you know i think uh, engineers are not much liking this botany zoology microbiology okay so i don't think it makes a great call okay you can you can continue your electrical or if you have filled any other two paper earlier you can keep carrying with that coming to computer science students exe okay exe yeah, has been the second call so in exe we know maths is common okay but maths also it is above the computer science syllabus computer science may you study only algebra and uh, calculus up to a certain extent and probability of course probability distribution but vector calculus complex variable ordinary differential equations partial differential equations numerical methods totally extra syllabus for you right then uh, you can choose uh, any out of the two papers which are now mentioned like fluid mechanics okay totally separate out of the computer science syllabus there is no correlation i believe okay fluid mechanics if you are a mechanical or civil student then it's easy for you but not for a computer science aspirant similarly, similarly material science also uh, uh, is there solid mechanics you can choose okay then you have thermodynamics that you can choose any two out of the papers are showing polymer science and engineering right and then you have food technology right so point is and then there is one more atmospheric and ocean sciences exe is a very good choice if you are a civil or mechanical aspirant but for computer science if you just look into the list also i don't think it makes any correlation with what you study in your engineering so i i believe that keep sticking to your primary paper okay and other than the primary paper also let me let me go back to the ppt in case you have filled any of the uh, two paper combination as per the previous combinations provided okay so previously what was the good combination we have already spoken about it and now these options are anyways closed so let's not repeat it but yeah earlier i have made the videos what can be good second paper considering your primary paper and whether you should fill the second paper or not benefits or disadvantages everything we have talked about this was about the new two paper combination and whether you should think about it or not mostly i believe no in and civil students can think about da but again provided look into the practical feasibility of completion of syllabus and look into your interest level dono ka mila ke decision lena hoga aapko baki for rest ecwc is i don't think there is this new secondary paper uh, whether you talk in terms of placement or psu vacancies or you know masters it's beneficial only thing is biomedical type of you know field uh, research can be good but syllabus be itna extra padhna padega so not not a great opportunity but you can make a wise decision i told you what is the only advantage but there are certain limitations also that can hamper your current gate preparation so think wisely so i just thought of updating uh, of you about whether this is beneficial or not thank you and uh, do subscribe our channel if you want to be aware and updated about all activities happening around gate and all the technical preparation thank you stay safe and take wow.